Hundreds of people are feared to have drowned after a boat carrying up to 700 migrants capsized in the Mediterranean Sea early Sunday morning. Passengers on the boat boarded in Libya hoping to make it safely to Europe. Those passengers were from a number of nations including Algeria, Egypt, Somalia, Niger, Senegal, Mali, Zambia, Bangladesh, and Ghana. The ship sent out a distress signal on Saturday night after a couple of days at sea. As rescuers approached the ship, the migrants all moved to one side hoping to flag down their rescuers. That movement then caused the boat to capsize about 110 kilometers north of Libya, plunging into the sea. According According to one survivor of the shipwreck, many of the migrants were locked behind doors at the hands of smugglers and traffickers, making their chances of survival impossible. While the shipwreck itself was an accident, Malta's Prime Minister Joseph Muscat blames human traffickers for risking people's lives, saying gangs of criminals are putting people on a boat, sometimes even at gunpoint. They're putting them on the road to death, really, and nothing else. It's genocide. Nothing less than genocide. Many migrants are coming from war zone stricken countries in search of a better life, and crossing the Mediterranean Sea is one of the most deadly routes. International rights agencies said 2015 is shaping up to be the deadliest year for migrants crossing the Mediterranean Sea. At least another 900 migrants have died while crossing this year alone. The Human Rights Watch claims the EU is standing by with arms crossed while hundreds die off its shores. These deaths might have been prevented if the EU had launched a genuine search and rescue effort. Only 28 people have been rescued so far, and only 24 bodies have been retrieved. The survivors have been taken to Sicily. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the victims and their families during this tough time. Check out SourceFed.com for updates on this heartbreaking story. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Bree Esrick. I'm Sam Basher.